guys so i am back with another video and today i'm finally 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 doing my q a um i've been talking about doing this for like four or five months and your girl just never got around to it but i'm here today to do it i have a bunch of questions i wrote them down um most of them are from my instagram i posted like a one of those question things on my instagram stories a few weeks ago and i kind of just screenshotted them and then i just wrote them down because some of them were repetitive um i got a few questions about here and then a whole lot of personal questions so we're gonna hop into this video hopefully this gives you guys a chance to get to know me a little bit better and to dive into my life a little bit more um so yeah we are going to hop into this video that i'm probably going to regret later because some of these questions are shady so let's get into the video So I'm going to start with the hair questions because honestly, there weren't that many hair questions. There were like five or six um, of those. And then we'll hop into the juicier stuff. Okay. Um, I have them all written down this little pad. So if you see me looking down, that is why. Um, I'm actually going to try and sit this up so I don't have to actually look down the entire time. Um, the first question was, how often do you trim your hair? Um, so I trim my hair about two to three times a year. I only trim my hair when I do a blowout or I straighten my hair. Um, other than that, I don't really trim my hair. I'm not like on a set schedule, but whenever those one of those two things happen, I'll usually go in and trim my hair. Um, I do like throughout like wash days if I have a single strand knot or like a tangle that's real bad that I don't really feel like taking my time and take out. I'll just cut it out. Um, I'll do stuff like that pretty much all year long. But as far as like a designated like trim session, about two to three times a year. Um, how often do you deep condition? I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I deep condition once a week, every week. I don't miss any time I do a wash day, I deep condition. The only time I don't deep condition is if I'm doing a midweek wash, which I won't deep condition like on that day but I will um, deep condition like on my like wash day, wash day, like my real extensive wash day. I'll do it on that day, I'll deep condition. So I deep condition once a week. Um, my favorite brand, um, these questions are always so weird to me because I feel like, you know, we got a lot of stuff. We just can't choose one. But honestly, it's not that hard for me to choose one because I'm not as much of a product junkie as I used to be. Um, but my favorite brand is Moisture Love. I like have one of the products actually sitting right here. Um, it's Moisture Love. I feel like it's like my go-to brand. Like when I don't know what I want to do with my hair, I don't know what style, don't know what products. I usually just grab that whole line and it will get me through my rice wash day with no problem. So I prefer Moisture Love over everything else. Close second is maybe like, um, Camille Rose Naturals. Um, and can too. Um, that was in my top three. I'm sorry, I couldn't say one. Top three. Um, oh, this is a good one actually. Um, do you still protective style? So, protective style, um, yes and no. So, I do protective style like throughout the week. I don't really wear my hair out during the week because I'm at work. So, um, I don't, um, there's no need. You know what I mean? So, like, there's no need for me to wear my hair out. I usually just have it either wrapped up or I have it in twists, um, usually like chunkier twists or something like that or braids or something like that. But I don't like do any long-term protective styling anymore if that's what you guys really mean. Like when I used to do my braids, single lace twists, um, those types of things, I don't do those anymore. I kind of do things that will last me through the week until my next wash day, but I don't do anything that's gonna be in my hair for weeks at a time anymore not for any particular reason really i just don't have the time to 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 do that i just don't have the time um to do any type of long-term styles like that so that's the only reason i don't do it it's not for any other reason favorite hair product one product like y'all tripping man one one i mean it's not as hard as like i'm making it um Okay, besides my mango butter, because that's obvious, like, given, um, I guess it would be the Moisture Love Kindred Spirits. 
I mean, my favorite brand, favorite product, it kind of got to be cohesive, right? So it will be the Moisture Love Kendra Spirits um, Styling Cream. That is bomb. I've used that thing on numerous videos. You guys can check it out. I think I have a whole Moisture Love playlist, honestly. Um, I will have that linked in the cards for you guys to check out. Um, but I love their, love, love, love their products, especially the Kendra Spirits. That's like my go-to product. I would say it's my go-to product. Um, what's your go-to hairstyle? Um, my go-to hairstyle is a wash and go. It has been a wash and go for the past, going on two years. Um, well, this is kind of like the second year that they've been my go-to. I don't know why. I don't know what what spirit got in me, but I will say that Kimberly Sherrell, and I know you guys know her on YouTube. If you watch me, I know you watch her. If you watch Natural, I know you watch her. If you are in the natural hair community, you know who Kimberly is. Um, she has like this whole killer combo series. And when I started watching hers all the time, it just really, I don't know, it just inspired me to like, you know what, girl, you can do this. Like you can do this wash and go. Cause for a while, like wash and goes just weren't, they weren't turning out like this. They, they were just not giving me what I wanted. But, um, I feel like when I started like watching like a lot of her wash and goes videos, it like inspired me to like, okay, Renelle, stop watching other people's videos and get step into this and just start doing it and um i've just been really loving it so wash and goes are my go-to styles um and i can't even say twist and braids and all that braid out some things like that anymore um wash and goes are like my go-to and honestly i feel like i get through my wash day faster when i'm doing a wash and go so i'm gonna say uh, definitely a wash and go and that was literally all of the hair questions okay that was all of them which is okay. I'm fine with that. If you guys have any more, you can leave them down in the comment section and um, I'll do another one. Um, but now we're going to get into the juicy stuff. I'm going to try and make this kind of go through as quickly as possible. I don't want to like kind of rant because some of these questions can like cause you to rant and like spark other things. I'm going to try not to do that because I don't want this video to be hella long. Like I already know it's going to be long, but I don't want it to be like super long. You get what I'm saying? All right. So. <clears throat> first question i'll start off light i'll start off light and then we'll get heavy you know as we go along the first question is who is your favorite rapper huh. okay so when it comes to rap your girl just ain't really up on the new rap i'm like an old school head i like a lot of old rap <laughs> like dead serious like 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 dip set jay-z Tupac type music. I'm like in that era of rap. Like if I'm going to listen to like a whole album of rap, that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm back there with those, but specifically Jay-Z, um, Tupac, Dipset. Um, I can listen to pretty much any one of their albums pretty much straight through. Um, I'm still, I still love Trina. I don't know why. I don't know. The ratchet in me just still loves her. <laughs> still listen to all her her music pullover like I still listen to all of the, that kind of stuff um but again old rap the only thing I listen to new now Kendrick Lamar I can listen to him all day um or like you know a full album um Megan I can listen to her I don't know if I can listen to a whole album of Megan but I definitely like her singles and she's doing her thing right now and Cardi and that's kind of the only recent people which are like almost like two different genres, but definitely a lot of the rap that I do listen to, if I even listen to rap at all, it's like the old stuff. So, you know, the old stuff, like when I was growing up, old stuff, cause old stuff can go even even further back than Jay-Z and Dipset, it can go further back than that. But I specifically mean like that Jay-Z, Tupac, Dipset, that type of rap is kind of what I listen to if I do listen to rap if I'm ever in a mood, which is once in a while. I do like have a couple songs on my playlist that, that I'll drop, but I can't listen to like, like the, the zone I'm in now and the mental state I'm in now, I can't listen to that on a daily basis. So I have to be in a mood and if it's on a playlist, it's like one or two songs, you know? So that's what I think about favorite rapper. My hands looking a little ashy. Can you guys, y'all can't even see my hands. Okay. Um, where are you from? Um, I'm from Jersey. I guess you can say um, I was raised here. I still live here. 
Um, I was born in Texas, um, but I was raised here in Jersey. So I'm a Jersey girl, East Coast girl. I love the big city. I love cities. I love going to New York. I'm like, I'm East Coast all the way. I love the East Coast. Um, not saying that I would never move anywhere else, but I do love the East Coast. Minus the cold. Honestly, honest, honestly, if Jersey was like Atlanta weather, it would be perfect. <laughs> it would be just fine. But I feel like, you know, whatever. But um, I'm from Jersey. That's where I'm from. Uh, that's where I live. And that's that. Now, if you're talking about my roots, um, my mom was born in Antigua. She was raised in St. Croix, which my mom currently lives full time. And my dad is from Trinidad. So uh, if you're talking about like that far as where I'm from, that's like where, where I'm at. As far as like what's in my blood is that. But where I'm from, from Jersey, that's where I live. That's where I grew up. That's that. Um, how old am I? I get this question a lot and I'm surprised because I feel like I've talked about my age on here before. Maybe I don't <laughs> talk about it often or maybe people assume that I'm younger or older than I am. I don't really know. Um, I'm going to go with a lot of you guys think I'm younger than when I am, um, but I'm 34. I feel like every time I say that, like even my part-time job when I worked at the hotel and I told them how old I was, they were like, bitch, what? Like, no, you're not. But I'm 34, guys. I'm 34. I'm about to be 35 in July. I feel like every time I get to like that halfway mark in like that, the 10 year, like when I'm 20, 25, 30, now, now I'll be 35. I feel like big changes happen in my life around that time. So I'm kind of looking forward to turning 35. I'm just really looking forward to being 35 because all those, all those marks in my life, um, up until this point, something big or like something, something in my life changed drastically. Um, and I'm kind of like excited for that. So I'm actually excited to be 35. Hopefully I'll be able to have a party or some type of something that doesn't involve me doing it over Zoom or freaking Duo or FaceTime or whatever the hell. So fingers crossed on that. But in July, I will be 35. Currently, I'm 34. Um, I'm trying not to get to the heavy ones right away. I'm trying to clear out like some of these like, eh, like random questions. Um, oh, my favorite artist of all time. Y'all be like with this all time, like no one can choose one. I'm like I just said, I'm 34 years old. Do you know how many people I've listened to growing up? Um, I can't just do one. So I have a bunch of people that I listen to that I love that I can listen to their music and albums straight through. No breaks, no pause, no nothing. Um, Allegra Snow. Um, I'm trying to name some that are like current that you guys may know. Allegra Snow, uh, Kiana Lede, if you don't know her. Uh, Ari Lennox, that is bae and like girl crush all day, babe. I don't know, Ari Lennox just reminds me of like a young version of myself. Um, Ari Lennox, <laughs> um, LMI, um, Georgia Smith. Uh, like that's the type of music that I listen to like on a regular daily basis. Um, also, I listen to a lot of soca music. So we got Allison Hines, we got Destra, we got Marshall, um, we got Shins what is Shinsea, Shinsea, her, um, Spice, I'll listen to Spice. She got like, you know, Spice reggae. She don't love and hip hop, but I was listening to Spice before she was on love and hip hop. I didn't even realize the Spice that was on love and hip hop was the same Spice that I was listening to until I heard her speak. Um, so yeah, so I listen to stuff like that. India, I read, I still listen to like all of her old stuff. I like some of her new stuff. Jill Scott, I like all of her stuff. All of, all of her stuff. I can listen to Jill Scott straight through. I can listen to a lot. All these people that I listed, I can listen to their stuff straight through. No skips, no pause, no fast forward. No, I, I might rewind, but I, you get what I'm saying. So those are the people that I listen to. I'm not going to name one because like, I just listen to so many different types of music, but most of the music that I listen to on a daily basis is like neo soul, um, soca music, soca music, reggae, like Caribbean music, and um, that's really it. Um, 
oh, how are you holding up during quarantine? So for me, quarantine is kind of like a business as usual. I'm an essential worker. I work in a medical field, so I go to work Monday through Friday. I probably had, through this whole thing, I probably had six straight days off. And that's when they like furloughed us and then called me back to work. So I didn't really get furloughed. I was pretty much just off for six days and I came back to work. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been at work, honestly. I work Monday through Friday, so I haven't really been quarantining. Um, on the weekends, I guess I do. I don't really go out on the weekends. Um, the only time I go out is Saturday morning. And if I go out, if I go out that Saturday morning is to go to the grocery store. If I don't have to go to the grocery store that week, I just come home. I just don't go anywhere. I'm here filming, editing, cleaning up my apartment. Um, yeah, so I'm not I'm not really in quarantine. And so to me, I'm doing what I would have normally been doing anyway. So quarantine is, is fine by me. I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Hopefully you guys, if you are an essential worker, you guys aren't, aren't out doing BS. What are your Postmates, your DoorDash, your Grubhub? Um, go out with your mask on and all that kind of stuff. Stay safe. Um, hopefully this will be past us very soon, which I kind of think it is. But, you know, we never know. And, you know, just stay safe. Stay safe out there. If you are out there, if you are also an essential worker, be safe. And... Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. It was, do you like high, did you like high school? I mean, high school for me was like a long ass time ago. Um, I mean, high school was cool. It was, you know, to me, high school was high school. I wasn't, I did not like it. I didn't like it. I just, it, like, let's move on to the next course of my life. Um, I wasn't bullied or, and, or, um, I don't think I was Billy. Really, I mean, I people picked on me here and there, but I don't really, it wasn't like anything deep. I didn't have like a popular group that I hung. I was kind of cool with everybody. I wasn't like part of any groups, the athletes, the cheerleaders, the, the, the popular group, popular black group, popular white group, popular Filipino group. I wasn't part of any of that. I had my own group of friends, but I was cool with everyone. Um, so high school was cool for me. I mean, I can't complain. I really only talk like and when I mean talk to like obviously we all have Facebook so we all see people from high school as far as like talk to people like on a regular basis who I consider like friends is probably like two to three people and like one of those people we, I didn't even really talk to her until after high school so I don't even consider her like a friend from high school I consider her a friend that went to my high school <laughs> like you know what I mean um so I mean high school was high school it, I mean that was a long ass time ago I don't know who asked that must have been one of my young subscribers because girl them people ain't gonna matter in about two years so some of them will I ain't gonna lie some of them will most of them won't um oh do you have any siblings actually people ask me this all the time too um, it was like, do you have any siblings? You seem like an only child. I don't know what an only child seems like, but I'm not an only child. I am the youngest and I'm the only girl, but I'm not an only child. But I have two older brothers, um, one that is a year older than me. He, I'm turning 35, he's turning 36. And I have another brother, I think he's already 40. He's, he might be going into, he might be over the hump of 40. I think he might be 41. Or gonna be 41 or 41 turning 42 I don't feel like doing the math right now but I know he is 40 you're 40 um, but I have two older brothers that I love um, you guys probably never see him I mean I've posted pictures of like both of my brothers on Instagram a while ago um, but one lives out of state and the other one that lives probably like 10 minutes from me I don't see him that often <laughs> But we're all very close. If we all ever get together, it's all love. We all get along. We all, you know, I'm little sis. So, you know, I'm always good with the brothers. Okay. Um. Okay. So now we're going to get into some of like the shady ass questions. Um. First one is, are you single? I feel like that's, that's a good starter because some of the other ones again. Oh, actually, no, we're not going to get to that yet. I'll do this one. And then I think... I think that's it. Okay. Uh, what are you watching on Netflix? 
Um, I guess this is kind of like the quarantine question. Everybody's like, what do I get? I watch on Netflix. Like I said, I'm not at home like that. Um, during the day, only time I am here is on the weekends. And when I come home at night, I'm usually catching up on my DVR. And then on the weekends, I'm usually catching up on my DVR. Um, once in a while, I watch some things on Netflix as far as series. Um, I think on Netflix that I've watched completely in its entirety, I've watched one called The Others, but I watched that like last year. Um, the Others, there's only one season of that, so that's an easy one that you can start catching up on now and hold out for season two. Um, Sex Education, I watched that in its entirety, season one and season two, which I actually, which I actually really, really liked Sex in Sex Education. Um, I'm watching one now. Actually, I've been watching it today. It's Never Have I Ever. I don't know what's up with all these college, these teens with their little sex stories. It's just like high school for me wasn't really like any of this. I don't know if just I just stayed to myself. But high school for me wasn't any of this. So I guess that's why it makes it funny to me. Because I'm like, is high school really like this now? I don't know. But I watched those. Um, I feel like those are like recent things. Everything else that I've watched is things that I've watched in the past, like um, Orange is the New Black, 13 Reasons Why, those kind of shows. But a lot of times on Netflix, I'm either watching a true story or a documentary. Like I watch, I need to finish watching it, the Malcolm X documentary. I need, I finished the Gabriel, Gabriel trial. Um, but I like watching things like that when I'm watching Netflix. I don't really watch um, like old um nostalgic kind of shows on there because for me like I'm, I'm not into the whole re-watching those kind of things like if they put girlfriends on there if, it, if girlfriends is on there I'll watch that I don't even know I'm not even on Netflix enough honestly so uh that's what I watch right now most of the stuff that I watch is on like cable like I watch for life if you guys aren't watching that that show is really really good Law and Order, that's like my show. Insecure is back on on Sundays. Yes, Insecure. Issa just be having me living for life. I feel like Issa is just, has been everyone at some point. Um, what else am I watching on TV? Something else I'm watching. Oh, and all the Ratchet TV, Love and Hip Hops. I don't really watch the Real High Housewives and all that, but I definitely watch all the Love and Hip Hops. All of them. All of them. All of them. Ratchet as it is, I'm still watching. Um, okay, so now let's move on. 